Okay, so what we have in here is one half cup of almond flour blanched, super fine blanched. And we have one half, one fourth cup of grated Parmesan and we have one half teaspoon of kosher salt. And then we're gonna have one half teaspoon of dried parsley. One half is dried parsley. It's a little more probably, but it's cool. The more the merrier. And then we want one half, everything's a half. A teaspoon of paprika, my favorite. Just spices up things really. Not in a hot way, but in a delicious way. And then you want one half teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, very simple recipe. And one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Just put a little bit in there, just a little. Then we're gonna stir it up. Now this is our breadcrumbs. Wait, hold on. So you mix it up. This is breadcrumbs for on top of our chicken, okay? You can bake a different kind, but I am not thinking about baking it because there's another kind you can make that come out crispy and bake. This will come out crispy because it's gonna be on the chicken. But mm -mm, not today. In the winter, mmm, smells good too. In the winter time, we probably will do it. But because it's so hot, I'm not thinking about it. We'll just do this. So this is a good, uh, it'll suffice for the breadcrumbs. Okay, and then I'm gonna go get the chicken. So we've got our chicken here, and this is rinsed off and everything. This is from the garlic, oh boy. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is make the ingredients that are gonna go in the chicken. Hi. <laughs> So we're gonna have some garlic. I mean, um, we are gonna have garlic. It's gonna be the other time. This is uh, broccoli. That's gonna go inside of the chicken. We're gonna. Oh, you look nice. Okay, so they're going for swimming lessons, but the baby, the little girl. But if it rains, then I'm sure they won't have it. But anyways, we're putting broccoli. And they want two cups of it. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to measure it. I'm just going to stick it in here because, um, oh boy, we're supposed to have cooked it. So I'm going to have to come back. I didn't know it was supposed to be cooked. The broccoli has to be cooked? I guess it would take a while. All right, I've got all the other ingredients out. So I'm gonna have to cook it. It doesn't take long for broccoli, so it's all right. I'm gonna cut it up pretty good because it's going to be rolled up in that chicken. And there's another video that shows the mashed potatoes, but they're not potatoes, they're from Jicama. So you watch that too, guys, and you'll see a delicious little meal come together. Um, the cookbook that I have gives good ideas. Um, uh, I probably would have went ahead and bought one from Keto Connect, but I didn't. My kids, you know, my daughter, she came home with the book already. So it's not that I choose one over the other, but this one does have some good stuff in it. It has a lot of the recipes, stuff you can... I put the jicama in this together because they have french fried jicama, but you can make that too. I'm not thinking about cooking any fries over the heat, the stove or anything, you know. So, um, you don't have to be too small. I think that's enough. Might make a little more. But anyways, um, they surprised me with the book. They went to Barnes & Noble. I'm going to rinse these again, too. Even though they were in a bag. I don't trust. <laughs> but, anyways, they surprised me with that cookbook. And I'm like, yes! Because I was running out of, like, patience in a way to look for stuff like lazy looking for keto recipes i see it and i'm like hey, hey, hey but this one has everything in it but i just thought about hey what else can i make besides those french fries and I'm like, 
And she has in, the, in her book different things you can replace potatoes with. And the jicama was in there. I was trying to celery, uh, I was going to get celery root, but they didn't have any at the store that I went to. So I just got the jicama and it's fine. It's boiling right now. So I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it next. All right, so I'm back and it's going to be a hot day because I'm going to have to use the oven, I, I see. So this right here is the garlic. I mean the... Um, broccoli okay um, and what we're gonna do is add one half cup of mascarpone cheese mascarpone and I don't know the difference between them because I don't use it that often so but um, I'm gonna use this one this is the only one they had actually so it says one half cup I'll probably put a whole cup because I I have more chicken than what she's saying to make it. I have more. And I'll make it a little bit different um, than what she's asking to make it because I'm just uh, going to layer it instead of rolling it up. Okay, it says that, one half cup of that, and three tablespoons of grated Parmesan. And I got... I got, um, what do you call it? I thought it was the other kind of Parmesan. But, um, I, I got the fresh one. It was shredded, so they wanted the grated one. So you got two, three tablespoons of that, so you put six. Uh, one half teaspoon, so we'll put a whole teaspoon of kosher salt if you want it's optional i guess you know but you want to have plenty of salt if you're doing a keto you make sure you salt it up unless you have something going on with the salt in your diet one fourth teaspoon so we'll put a half teaspoon of the black pepper okay um one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder so you can put more if you're doubling it up or whatever and then we've got nutmeg for some reason <laughs> you only want one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg okay you can keep some out leave it or keep it or whatever okay so after that you can stir it up my um I just cooked the broccoli, so it's probably going to be melting in there anyways. So you want cooked broccoli, all right? Make sure it is cooked. So after you stir it up, you can set it to the side because we're going to season our chicken. And instead of dipping the chicken pieces, well, I probably will dip it. I'm going to dip it. You'll see how I'm going to do this the top ones. You can line your pan. I put a little oil in the bottom, but the chicken's going to uh, cook, but it's not, it's, it's probably not going to put the juices like you think because it's, I've got the chicken breast and it might not make as much grease at the bottom. So you can line your pan if you want. You can use a sheet pan if you want. That's what it's calling for. I'm just doing mine, improvising from what I have here with my stuff and I'll probably put a little more cheese in there too. This looks like it needs a little more. Um, you know, if you're going exactly by the recipe, you won't need anything else added. Okay, mine I added a little more broccoli than what it calls for, okay? Because I've got more chicken. So I'm making more of the uh, filling, uh, a little bit more, adding a little more of everything actually, because, yeah, you do it the way that is good for your family. If they don't like certain things in their food, and by all means do not add it. 
can't have certain things, you know. The kosher salt is a little thicker uh, granules. Okay, so. <clears throat> After this, I'm going to let it set after it's been sitting, I mean after it's been stirred up real good. It says to mix it really well, so you want to make sure it's mixed very well. See what it's looking like? You want to line your sheet pan because it is kind of juicy. Um, mm, it does smell good though. Okay, that's going to be our middle. Uh, it's going to go in the middle of our chicken. And I'm doing it a little different because, like I said, I'm not going to roll it up. Of course, it's going to be uh, thicker because. Um, All right, so after that, it says to make the filling, put the cooked broccoli, broccoli, put it on the side, lay the chicken cutlets on a cutting board and spoon into, so what we're going to do, excuse me, it says to, it should be lined, okay, but I put some oil on the bottom of it, so what I'm doing is I'm not rolling these, you can roll them and put it in the middle, I'm just going to lay them like this for now. Supposed to roll them up after, but what I'm gonna do is I'm laying them out like this. I don't want to roll them because it's it's pretty thick, you know, this chicken breast, and I'm sure it's, it might not cook on time for me because tonight is our meeting and I just started this a little bit later than what I should. Everybody's gonna be hungry too. They're going swimming. And yes, they've safe distance. They only have so many people that can go in the swimming pool. It's over at the park. But they wear masks there, even at the pool. Um, so anyways, what I'm doing, she says to roll it. Okay, you're supposed to stick the stuffing in here, and then you roll up your, roll it up. Okay? But for me, I'm thinking it's going to be awfully thick for me to do that because I have a chicken breast, which you're supposed to use that, I believe, anyways. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting them flat and then I'm gonna add a piece over it. I don't know if it'll drain out though. It'll probably drain out of there. So I'm gonna, I might end up rolling them. Shoot, I wasn't planning on doing that. I think it'll be fine the way I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna line the bottom real good. You can scoop up the deliciousness under. These are for if you want to have like separate little pieces, but this would be like a chickenish casserole type thing. You okay in there? And he's played a video game, I think. So anyways, that's how I'm doing that. But you're supposed to really roll them, okay? But I have had them before where you put spinach and that and roll it together and it seems like it was quite thick and it took a while so I'll put a little bit of the uh, seasonings on it on the chicken so we'll have some seasoning with it and um, you're gonna have the actual inside filling in it okay Season it up good, and then we're gonna put this in here. Okay, you're supposed to stick each piece with some of this, but I'm gonna just put it on top of the chicken, like so. Can you see that? I'm putting it on top. Okay. And when I'm done, I will show you, okay? Because I'm doing it a little bit different than what she did it, because I just feel like it cooks, takes too long to cook. They look cute and all, and they look lovely but I didn't make them thin enough to make it like that I'm gonna have a piece on top so that is still gonna take a little longer but at least your chicken will be cooked through you know what I mean instead of a round piece tough or whatever I think we have some 
foil. I'm going to cover it. And boy, oh boy, it's hot today, guys. I'm not going to let the stove be cut on, but at least it's cooling off a little bit. And, uh, so I think it's going to be really good. So that's what we do. I always change up my recipes. <laughs> I don't know if it's for the best, but hopefully it will be. Just covering it, okay, with this rest of the chicken, just so we have this uh, delicious filling covered. And I'm planning on covering it with some foil. Hopefully we have some left, because I know we used it for something. I should probably be a cut a little bit more. But anyways, I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna we're done. I'm done with putting all this. See, I just added it on top. Put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of the ground nutmeg, a little bit of the pepper, and. Uh, I add the salt? I did put salt. No, I didn't add any more. I don't want to put too much either. Just kind of put some in your hand. Sprinkle it. And what I was going to do is take this egg wash and put it over the top. Because you're supposed to dip it in there. Okay, I'm doing it different. I'm supposed to really dip it in there, but I'm just gonna kinda like spread it on top, okay, like so. Okay, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I put the egg wash on top, and then remember we made those breadcrumbs out of the um, flour? So you're gonna sprinkle that on top, okay? You can probably save some if you want, but I'm just gonna, I got quite a bit of it, so I'm gonna, Cover this baby up. I can always make more. I don't think they think you're gonna make as much as what I did. I made like a casserole. You're supposed to dip these in the breadcrumbs after you put the egg wash on it, but I just sprinkled the egg wash on there and I spread it on it and then I put the breadcrumbs on top. Okay? And then I don't have any foil. I thought I did. I'm not going to spoil. So I'm just going to use this pan and cover it over, make sure it stays on so it won't, since I put this chicken away that I did, it will cook it, help cook it a little better, and, um, you know, it'll do better like this. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I come back. i um, going to cook it for, it says 25 minutes. Um, at 375, um, you should put parchment paper under it, but I didn't. Um, I put oil, but I'm gonna cover it. It didn't say covering it in any way, but that's what we're gonna do, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like. It just looks like this for now. It has to, looks good, it smells good. Cover it, and I made it a little different than the recipe says, but um, anyways. Text at the bottom if you want it exactly like they said it. I kind of told you as I was going how they did it, but I did mine like this. And if you wanted to know how I did it like this, you may not know because you gotta watch the video because I, I forgot. Anyways, um, I'm gonna cook it. It's gonna be hot in here, but I'll be back to show you the results, okay? And then look for the uh, jicama uh, mashed potatoes because we're gonna have it with this, and you can see how I made those, okay? This is the chicken. Rosalind, you gotta have a taste. And this has the, uh, it's really good. You can put some of the, uh, see that? Mmm, mm -mm -mm. that's good. So, try it out. This is a broccoli with mascarpone, keto breadcrumbs, stuffed chicken. And I just made it like a layer instead of making them round. You could make them in a circle 
and cook them like that, but I felt like they don't cook as quickly or as thoroughly and as tenderly. So these are really good. Tastes like breadcrumbs on there. You guys, try it out. You'll see the whole recipe. So have a good day. Thank you, subscribers. Enjoy.